types of bone grafts. There's lots of different kinds. There's lots of different reasons why we do one versus the other. Um, just quickly, I'll kind of talk about some of them. Uh, the first bone graft and what traditionally is done is autogenous grafts, meaning that bone is taken from somewhere in your body and re-implanted. So I guess why do we do bone grafts in the first place? One, if we have inadequate bone, we do that. Secondly, if we're trying to preserve the shape of bone and we're going to take a tooth out, we know that if we do nothing, that we're going to lose 35 to 40 percent of the bone volume where we're going to need an implant. So if we augment that bone in that position, we can maintain that bone and hold it until we place the implant or it can help support the, the teeth on either side of it so that you don't have that recession of the gums um, and some of the other factors that aren't quite as good. Uh, but autogenous bone is the first type of grafting that we typically do. Um, it's got living cells in it. It's, it's osteogenic. Um, it's osteoconductive, meaning it's got structure that holds things in place. And it, there's no uh, problem. I mean, obviously, it's your own tissue. So that's the first thing that we look at. Second thing we look at, which is an easier situation for the patient, is an allograft. An allograft is a human bone donation where it's taken from cadavers. Some of them are acid washed. They're irradiated. They've gone through all of these different wash techniques where we've never had a disease transmission from human cadaver bone that we've used in a graft. The nice thing about that is it doesn't have two different surgery sites. So in one procedure, we can do the surgery one wound. We're not creating a second donor site. Um, the material itself is very easy to place. We typically cover it with some sort of membrane, Gore-Tex, PFE, um, PTFE. Um, there's different materials, collagens. There's different things that we do to cover that, suture that up, and then we come back typically in two to four weeks, depending on what it is and we'll take the membrane out and the bone will hold its shape. Third type of graft is a xenograft. Xenografts are done from a different species. So it's where we look at cows or pigs, which sounds crazy. The thing about the way we resorb bone and there's bone metabolism, we're always building and resorbing bone constantly. There's a state of metabolism that we want homeostasis. With, with a xenograft, the body doesn't resorb that bone or that scaffolding quite a, as quickly. It takes much longer to resorb. So if we're trying to hold and maintain shape, that's a great option. Um, it will be resorbed over time. But when we do sinus lifts where we need a lot of volume, we need it to hold space, a lot of times we do a mixture of allograft and xenograft so that we can maintain some of that structure. Um, the fourth type is synthetic grafts. So that's where we will use calcium phosphate or we'll use different options where Basically, we're trying to hold shape of bone. It's not necessarily where I will utilize trying to place an implant because those cells don't attach to the implant. They'll hold the shape and it gives it some structure to hold against, but it doesn't physically grow to the implant. So those have limitations, but there are some situations where we never want this to resorb um, and we want it to hold that shape so that it looks nice aesthetically. So there's times where we use that also. I hope this video kind of helps you and gives you a little bit more information about why you might want to choose what you do. Please give us a call, 918-906-2525. Be glad to see you for a consultation and kind of review specifically for you what that looks like and how we can help you. Thanks.